Making It in Botswana, a TV show that takes you on a behind the scenes look at how everyday items are manufactured right here in Botswana. Making It in Botswana, brought to you by Botswana Investment and Trade Center. Go Botswana! Today on Making It in Botswana, we take a look at the process of battery manufacturing with chloride exide. We then head off to Sally Dairy, where we'll be taken through the process of making milk and madila. This is Making It in Botswana. If the engine is the brain, fuel the oxygen, then undoubtedly the battery is the heart and soul of the car. No one enjoys that awkward moment of having to push start their car due to a faulty battery. The solution to this is a car battery of great quality. That's what we'll be talking about today on Making It in Botswana. With that said, today we are visiting Chloride Exide Botswana. Chloride Exide Botswana Pty Ltd was established in 1990. Over the years, the company has grown from strength to strength and is seen as one of the market leaders in producing automotive batteries within the region. Following a 20-year period of growth, the company established a state-of-the-art factory in Pagalani. This factory is capable of producing over 500,000 automotive batteries per annum. Approximately 70% of their output is for export market. A comprehensive range of batteries are now marketed in Malawi, Namibia, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Zambia and Angola. Locally, the batteries are marketed under the Taurus brand by their partner company, Taurus Batteries. This is Making It in Botswana. Chloride Exide Botswana was established in 1990 as a joint venture between Chloride Group, PLC and Taurus Batteries. In 1993, Chloride Group PLC sold its stake to the Adam family and they have enjoyed a very successful partnership for 27 years in Botswana. We manufacture automotive batteries and make over 50 different types of batteries that cover a full range of vehicles starting from small saloon to heavy-duty earth-moving equipment. We also manufacture deep cycle batteries for solar and standby applications. Our batteries are custom-made to suit the African vehicle markets and are robust to handle all the weather and road conditions of all SADC countries. We are an ISO 9001 accredited company and regular quality management audits are carried out by Botswana Bureau of Standards. Every process in the factory has a quality check list, which ensures the customer receives a product that is in keeping with the IEC standard. Our batteries are guaranteed for 12 months, and we are proud to confirm that our factory claim rate is less than 2%. Locally, all our batteries are distributed by our partner company, Taurus Batteries, through their nationwide distribution network. This accounts for 30% of our sales and 70% is sold by eight SADC countries in Southern Africa. We hope to increase the export sales to the neighboring countries and, more, and with more support from government department will enable us to fully utilize the available capacity of 500,000 batteries per annum in the next five years. In keeping with the government policy, on poverty eradication program and empowering Botswana to become successful, our company through Taurus Batteries will be introducing small battery franchising opportunities only available to Botswana citizens and this opportunity will be launched in 2018. This is Making It in Botswana. The process of manufacturing begins here. We begin with grid casting. The material used here is lead antimony. The lead is put into a lead pot and melted at searing high temperatures. It is then pumped from the pot through the feed line into a mold. From the mold, grids are made. We 
then move to the oxide making stage. The lead is fed through a guillotine to be cut into sizable pieces. The pieces are then fed onto a conveyor belt which then feeds it into an oxide mill. This is where they will be made to react with oxygen to make lead oxide. The lead oxide is then stored into silos. From the silos, the lead oxide is taken into a paste mixer. This is where water, acid and lead oxide are mixed together to form a paste. The acid used here is sulfuric acid. The paste is pumped and mixed into a cone drive. The paste is then pushed through a machine called a pasting hopper. At the pasting hopper, the paste is applied onto the grids in order to make plates. We have a positive and negative mix for each. The plates are then taken into an oven for reducing moisture content in them. These are then put into a skid, then taken to a cubicle for curing and further drying. They'll be left here for 72 hours. Once dried and cured, the plates are transferred to the plate parting machine where they are broken into singles. They are collected as singles and put into bins. The plates are then taken to the wrap and stack machine where there are two stations, positive and negative. The negative side of the plate will be enveloped, then the plates are stacked into plate group. Let's take a short break. This is Making It in Botswana. Welcome back to Making It in Botswana. The plates are taken to the cast on strap machine where the machine rotates to ensure all plates fed through go through this process and reach the mold. All the mold, straps, intercell connectors and posts are added. Straps connect all positives on one bar and all negatives likewise. Intercell connectors are used for connecting cells together. At this stage, all these components are called elements. The elements are then put into boxes. Our battery is now starting to look closer to a finished product. Now to the final assembly line. This also doubles as a quality check stage. Our almost batteries will be put through a series of tests to check for faults. First on the assembly line, the short circuit test. When our element passes, it moves to the welding stage where intercell connectors are welded. We then move to the heat sealing station, where the lid is applied to completely seal off our battery. Posts are then joined with terminals. The burning also helps smoothing the terminals. Next up, it's time for pressure testing to check for leaks. Once it passes all these, it is then filled with acid and charged for 24 to 36 hours. It is then taken to one final voltage test. 
Once it passes through all compliance, the battery is then vacuum sealed with plastic wrap ready for our vehicles. This is Making It in Botswana. And now, let us head off to Sally Dairy. In today's episode, we are back in Tlokwem village. This time, to a company called Sally Dairy, where we'll be looking at the process behind how they make our much-loved madila, our sour milk. Let's get right to it. This is Making It in Botswana. Sally Dairy has been existing in Tlokwem for over 20 years. Rabadiribamashi, madila, you do juice that you are dairy based juices. The juices are now they come in seven flavors and four sizes. Besides that, two liters, one liter, 500 ml, and 250 ml. Mashi lo ane madila. Mo mashi rekona kudira mashi abatona tona adi 20 liters. Le mo di juice rekona kudira juice di tona tona sa 25 liters. The juice star not 25 liters. Kese ba tuwa di diri sa ko manyalo le ko di nzong. Mashi a 20 liters ke a kona ko di sa ko di patela le ko di restaurante le ko di hoteli. Re na le ba diri ki ba le over 100. The products are now tla di tla la mo ma diri lo ngo tla matona di shopo di tona tona. Aka ba chop PC, ba spa, ba shop right, ba pick and pay yalo yalo. Re na le ma diri lo ko Francis Town ari sandi lo na ko kona which is a distribution center and we distribute from the Francis Town Distribution Center for the North. Product here on Aidra Mosali Dairy. Releka to keep a certain standard of hygiene and cleanliness. Michael Laro na Mosali Dairy. Ke gore rene bangwe ba ba ka thusang Botswana to be self sufficient in food production. In ara ke tsara mo khwebong ye. Ka tsentse wa ke gore ke lemogile gore mo Botswana ke jo dingolong tsa re di jang tsa re di jang di tswa ke wa Afrika borwa ka bona go le maleba gore rona re le batswana re simolela go itirela dijo ka jalo se le dere ke bona ile gore into the future e tla be e di dera di e tla be e e processa dijo ka mihuta huta gona ano nyana re dira only liquid foods ya ka ke buile madila mashi le tsone dere based and juices me ko go ya go pele ke bona ile gore se le dere go gola ga yone ya go leka go processa all kinds of foods, whether it's tinned or cuttened, or to send it to plastic bottles, in your to do it in your hands. 95% of my children are from the South Africa. Only 5% are from the South Africa. They 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 are the South Africa. They are from the South Africa. They are from the South Africa. They are from the South Africa. So there's an opportunity there for Botswana to have dairy farms. Maintenance wa manufacturing plants is an opportunity for young Batswana for by the Colombia today for no maintain at the machine to the machine is a thing this and certificate that the clock and the clock on the relay opportunity and where Erna Leone care the the traditional level of the drama bottle of the law the good ready day was on the ready to do some more the good ready people and mostly there like I got that our support the business is in mobile to one so I can tell you that I can do the production, I can do the label, I can do the bottle, I can do the inhaler. There is a lot of people who are doing this product in South Africa. So, when I was doing this, I was doing the same thing. 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 This is making it in Botswana. As a start, interestingly to note, we do not have milk farmers in Botswana. It is very important to source milk from one trusted source to ensure consistent quality. No matter what rigorous processes are done to the milk, if the quality of the product is not good, the shelf life itself will be very short. Salad Dairy has been through extreme lengths to find just the right supplier. Particulars to look out for include the quality of the cow, the feeding of that particular cow, whether all the vaccinations have been affected, and even aspects of bloodline are taken into consideration. 
A tanker leaves the borders of Botswana and travels overnight to the northwest in South Africa. The cars are milked first thing in the morning, ensuring that the richest and freshest milk is received. The milk then goes through a cooling process. When the milk gets transferred into the salad dairy tanker, it is already at minus 3 degrees Celsius, being the optimal travelling temperature. Whilst awaiting the truck, the factory begins a preparation process called CIP. This process begins the evening before the milk arrival. Cleaning chemical agents are flushed through every facet where the milk will come in contact to hygienically get it ready for the milk the following day. The following day, the CIP process is repeated. The process of milk processing is ready to commence at 6.30 a.m. The first point of call is ensuring that the temperature of the milk in the truck does not exceed 5 degrees Celsius. Once the temperature test is passed, a sample is taken. Different tests are done, including the fat levels within the milk. A final temperature test is done, and if all tests are passed, the milk then gets pumped from the truck into the tankers. The milk then goes through a pasteurization process. The temperature in the pasteurization tanks is set ready for the milk. After pasteurization, the milk goes through a modulizer machine. This process seals all the fats such that it doesn't form a firm layer on top of the milk. After the modulizer, the milk then goes through the pasteurization process again. The milk then goes into a holding tank. It stays in the holding tank for 5 minutes until optimal temperature is received. Once the temperature is received, it then goes back to the pasteurizer and then back into a holding tank. At this point, the milk is ready to be filled. The bottles are collected from storage, labeled and go through filling. The containers come in 2 litre and 500 milliliter bottles. After filling, the milk is loaded into crates and ready for dispatch. In terms of the yummy madila, however, in the holding tank, a catalyst is added to the milk to hasten the process from milk to madila. The product is not yet ready, however, it is at this point added into bottles. Different sized bottles are packaged from 500 milliliters to 2 liter bottles. The bottles are then left out in room temperature for 12 hours. After 12 hours, the product is first checked to ensure visual consistency. It then goes into a taste test. After passing the taste test, the product gets put into a fridge for 5 to 6 hours. At this point, it is now ready to hit the stores. Several other products are made here, including fruit juices and water. They are all made with 100% quality guarantee at Salad Dairy. As you see here, the products are being loaded and ready to hit the stores. Next time on Making It in Botswana, we learn how to get the best out of our soil with organic fertilizer. We then head off to FSG to find out about the process of coffin manufacturing. This is Making It in Botswana.